In this session, I want to talk about the Zabbix high availability for HA architecture. So, in the previous video, we talked about the, the Zabbix core application, the data collection, and then multi platform Zabbix agent, and also we talk about the feature and architecture. Also, I want to uh, talk more specific about the HA high availability architecture on the Zabbix side. This is very important when we are running um, a Zepic cluster, make sure that we have HA on the Zepic uh, cluster. So for example, we have, right now we have uh, uh, two uh, nodes, yeah? then we, we put as uh, uh, priority 20 or priority one. It's, it mean the, the metric will go to here first, and then after we cover everything, then it, we will go to the first, and then if we not cover, we cannot cover to this uh, node, then uh, we'll share to another node. Or if in case if this node is cut down, then uh, we will uh, switch uh, the traffic to go to priority one. So to do like fill over, we monitor port one zero zero fifty one use a uh, heartbeat monitoring as it's a small script. Then if something wrong, then uh, fill over will happen. So we can define this one is not active active but active passive on the on the zepic uh, cluster for example we just assume this one is zone one and this one, uh, zone two or in the vmware technology we call fd1 or fd2 or we can put split like host one or host two something like that. it's different when when something is filled and then we still have another one then to do uh, we, to do like uh, the HA, we need to VIP, and then to do the VIP, we need engine X. So and engine X is um, um, open source that uh, we can use this uh, for the Zepic engine engine uh, solution, or we can use also uh, HA proxy to do that. So this uh, HA will cover the speed will cover to note that. Uh, up and running on the Zepic cluster when one single node is pushed on and then the traffic will, will be switched by engines or HS proxy to cover uh, the request or uh, sending or receiving the traffic. And on the specific uh, uh, database level also, we need to define cluster on the uh, MySQL uh, Galera also. For example, if we had in VMware, we have the vSend1 and vSend2, or maybe FD1, FD2, or something that different storage we can define to uh, storage A and another node to define on the storage B, then we can get the HA on the database level also. So we can put like priority 20 and priority 1 as well as we have on the ZP cluster. Then on the, on the ZP proxy, we can to access the, all the component on the object to uh, collect the data. We can pro also multiple Zepic proxy. Then we put the engine also or HA proxy uh, between the component and the VIP. So you can do like this. Everything that we have on the cloud, like VMware, Azure, Amazon, will access to proxy. Then from the proxy, we'll send to the Zepic cluster. This is uh, the the good architecture for Zebic, so we can um, uh, save the uh, data security level very high because we have high availability on the Zebic cluster side and then database side also and then the collecting data set also because we run multiple Zebic proxy on the platform.